All right, here we are late morning, Lake Havasu City here. Hen owns a uh, few cars out of a collection here, just a very, very cool car. I actually chased this owner for several years to bug him to sell it. So anyway, we're finally getting it done here. Very cool, 1949 Pontiac Fastback. It's basically model number 2507D. It's a, a, a straight eight model has every piece of factory trim that you could think of. We'll walk around, we'll repeat myself like I usually do as I go around here, but uh, it has the, uh, it's a Silver Streak series or Streamliner series with a Silver Streak straight eight in it or the Silver Streak trim level on it. We'll actually go over the VIN and cover it with you. It's as originally built. It's finished in a sage green. The owner knows all this particular car is believed to be a three owner car. The miles are actual, 33,000 and some change. We'll get inside. All the trim and body on this is just beautiful. It was sold new at Leisure World uh, in uh, Long Beach, California, and the VIN decodes is a California build car. Uh, this, it came here to Havasu several years ago to this gentleman. He purchased it from the gentleman that was the original owner of the car. Um, as we walk around and we talk about the options on it, it has about every guard you could think of as I go around the exterior here and then some. It has the fender guards, obviously. It has the uh, fuel tank guard here in the back, fuel fill guard. It has the bumper guards front and rear. It has the fingernail guards up here. A lot of, just about every option you can think of from the factory, he believes it has every option from the factory. The factory spotlight, the rear view mirror, the visor's an original visor. Again, finished in his factory colors. We're gonna decode the tag when we get back to the office. But the trim on these cars are just very, very cool. You look at the front and back and uh, the spears on the hood, waterfall on the hood is what I'd probably call it. Uh, it has bumper guards and bumperettes on the front bumper. It has the guide lamp uh, fog or driving lamps on it. it. Has the lighted chief on the hood. So it is the Streamliner series. It is a Silver Streak trim level. And I believe that's because of the uh, straight eight in it. 249 cubic inch straight eight underneath the hood. It's an original hydromatic automatic car. It has been obviously been lowered. It's very cool. Has some air shocks in the back. The body is wonderfully straight. Air shocks in the back so you can raise the tail of the car. Uh, otherwise, the car's been lowered. Those are original Pontiac Sombrero hubcaps. They're just spectacular. Um, white wall tires, Silver Streak 8. They've actually done a nice option and they've added air conditioning to this car on that factory straight 8. Again, the fingernail guards, the sun visor. But look at the waterfall trim on the hood here and it has it on the deck lid too. Very, this owner likes to drive his car, so this is the kind of car that you can drive. Um, he drives it and he drives it in Havasu heat here. He says it's got to have air. We'll get underneath the engine compartment and cover it for you. All the options we talked about and then some. It has uh, two tissue dispensers, Pontiac tissue dispensers. I'm going to hop in here. Nice under dash AC unit that he installed. He has installed the uh, an audio system here in the glove box. It's got tweets there. Has a uh, guide right compass on the dash. Has a uh, crow's foot or viewing because of the visor traffic light viewer. Has a redhead flashlight. Of course, there's the AC unit if I didn't already say that. Get not. Been running all day here. We'll get over to the driver's side and spend a little bit more time, but we're going to get up to the headliner here. Here's the uh, hat rack for it. And it has the uh, umbrella here. Finished in uh, the interior is a factory style mohair. It's been redone, I believe. Factory format button. My sunglasses here, sorry for that. The paint on the car is actually, you'd never know it by looking at it. According to him, it, the paint on this car was done in the 60s. Very, very nice. Uh, so it was resprayed once. The door jams, um, 
or not the quality of the outside of the car, but it, it leads you towards the original. So the car just has just enough character for it to be uh, really special that way. Sometimes we get two cars too perfect, and this one is uh, perfect in its presence is what I would say. It's just cool. All the options are really, really neat. It has reverse lights on it, license plates lights, the bumperettes we talked about when we were on the other side, the waterfall on the tailgate here, which is part of the trim level of the car, on the deck lid. Step back and let you take a look. Looks really good down low like that. Just has that nice sleek deco feel, I guess is what you'd call it. Again, mohair style, factory style interior. The spotlight here to the back seat. It's the kind of car that just makes you smile. You walk up and you go, wow. Look at that trim. Sage green is perfect for the car. See a paint line here where they they had resprayed it. A lot of the uh, door jam material is uh, believed to be original paint. Again, we're going to get back to the office and do a decode on the data tag. 33,580 miles at the time of inspection. It is sold as actual miles on the car. Again, sold new at Leisure World in Long Beach, California. There's a hydromatic shifter panel. Factory horn, it's got factory dual horns on it, which are really loud. Hood release here, I believe that's the AC control over here. The audio on the glove box is an upgrade. Hydromatic automatic. All the gauges work. Straight eight. I got it. All right, we'll get you under the hood here. Very cool, this car's just cool throughout. It has good character. A lot of the finishes on the firewall and stuff in these aprons, you'll see overspray of the uh, original sage green, so it's finished its original colors. We have the data tag, we'll go decode it and make sure that's true at Spud's Garage here. Uh, we get back to the office. Uh, it's finished in sage green. Underneath the hood here is the, uh, I believe to be the factory uh, straight eight. Silver Streak Straight 8. It's a uh, 249 cubic inch, 248.9 to be exact. Uh, high compression head on it, so I think it's 106 horsepower. The uh, owner put air conditioning on it, which is nice and kind of a requirement here in Arizona. They've did a nice job, and cooling-wise, there's no issues. It runs through here, and power-wise, it's not a race car, but it runs and drives along just fine. Hard lines will run across the core support here and then run right there up to the back for the air conditioning. Um, has a two barrel carburetor on it. Factory style and its presentation throughout, even the cloth wiring with some upgrades. This is a relay for the air conditioning unit, I believe. Uh, the battery, you rarely see these battery covers uh, stay with the cars over the years. Use the guys to charge batteries and throw those covers away. Keeps the tender on it talked about the options on this car this car has about every option you could think of from the factory or the dealer has the dual horns has the under hood light has the windshield washer bottle over here has the original overflow tank for the radiator here and I'm sure I will have missed some options on this baby we'll uh, fire this one up for you give you a closer look We'll fire it up. We have the e-brake on. We have it in neutral. Turn the key to the on position. It starts right up. Q 
too much fun. I want to do a quick little uh, decode of the VIN tag here. Uh, as we talked around as, uh, during the walk around, it's California built. Um, it, is a, it is a straight eight. There's the eight for the eight cylinder there. The R means it's a 49 and the H means it was originally equipped with a hydromatic. And we'll decode the data tag back at the shop. All right, we'll get you in the trunk here. Same original colors follow through the car. You'll see some of the sage green here. It's been uh, all these original cardboard panels in the trunk here, the owner believes are original to the car. I know you can buy those reproduction, but uh, uh, according to him, it's a very uh, original, those are original components. Also, speaking of options again, notice it has the uh, trunk courtesy light here. All right, we got the 49 Pontiac Streamliner up on the lift here. We talked about during a walk around Southern California, sold note Leisure World. It's as solid as I expected. Uh, oftentimes I get a chance to look at the undercarriage pre-photo shoot. I didn't on this set of cars. So we're doing it post and uh, nice solid car. I like the uh, tailpipe split in the back here. It's kind of cool. One into two has the original uh, gator wraps on the uh, rear springs. The only way this car was lowered in the back was uh, we'll push this out of the way. Was about uh, I'm thinking that's about six inches of block in the back. That's cool. Has air shocks in the back and a control on the dash where you can raise the tail end of this up if you don't want to be tail dragging. So Gator Wrap, original car. Undercarriage, undercarriage on this one supports the stated miles in my opinion. No rust, I've studied it. Cool. Heater, I believe that's a rear seat heater or under seat heater. Hydromatic automatic. Bottom side of the straight eight, silver streak straight eight. Uh, up front, looks like uh, all they did was uh, cut the springs. Yeah. And they put a few spring spacers in it to bring it back up a little bit. So in order to revert this car back to original height would not be an issue. I don't know why you'd do that, but Easy raise if you like with springs and block difference. You could change it two inches pretty easily. Okay, we'll get to the outside rockers here in just a moment. Get up in the wheel well there, kind of give you a feel. There you have it. Okay, passenger side, rockers. Good. Driver side rocker. Again, nice dry car. The vent for the heater, or no, that's a yeah, vent. There you go.